keep an eye on the one a little bit lower down. Once that separates, you know we're 15 seconds away from liftoff. Auto sequence initiated. Auto sequence start. Second umbilical separating. T minus 15 seconds. You can see the engine starting to fire. Second umbilical. The first stage ramping up. Engine turbo pump at twice speed. Engine at max thrust. And lift off. Lift off. Oleg Skripochka, Jessica Mirhaza, Ali Almansuri leaping forth from Gagarin start on their way to the International Space Station. First and second stage in. Thrusters are operating just fine. Copy. Everything is fine on board the Soyuz. We're feeling great. Copy. We're going to continue to get these translations throughout the flight. Everything's still sounding good with that first stage. You can see the four strap on boosters lighting up the night sky. So he's delivering 930,000 pounds of thrust with that first stage, the four boosters and the single core engine. You can see them punching through the cloud layer there. The first stage measures 68 feet in length, 24 feet in diameter, burning liquid fuel for the first two minutes of the flight. Pitch, your roll are nominal. So pitch, yaw, and roll referring to the orientation of the vehicle. Nominal, a word you'll hear a lot. That just means everything is proceeding normally. Continuing to get for good first stage uh, indicators from the Soyuz. Things looking good inside the cabin. You can see Jessica Mir at the top of your screen. Alex Kropochka at the bottom there in the commander seat. First and second stage thrusters are operating nominally. A little over a minute and a half into the flight, everything continuing to go well with the Soyuz crew. We've already well exceeded over 1,100 miles an hour. The next things we're going to be looking for is the escape tower jettison. And then the first stage strap-on boosters separating. And they're getting a great view. You can see that Koryov cross the first stage strap-on boosters have separated along with that tower. Now the core engine continuing to fire. The Soyuz already at an altitude of about 28 statute miles. Nominal. Copy. Everything is nominal on board. We are feeling great. Copy. So at this point, the Soyuz traveling in excess of 3,300 miles per hour. You can see those four strap-on boosters continuing to descend. The Soyuz power now by that core stage engine. 160 seconds into the flight. Copy. Yes, we uh, see that the launch shroud jettison is also confirmed. Affirmative. The launch shroud protecting the Soyuz during that initial climb through the atmosphere has been jettisoned. This is actually a view from on, on the Soyuz spacecraft itself. You're looking down at one of the folded up solar arrays. We're over three minutes now inside the rocket's altitude, already 48 miles in height. At this point, traveling in excess of 4,700 miles per hour. 200 seconds into the flight. Second stage uh, thrusters are operating nominally. So everything continuing to go well with that core stage. The core stage booster of the Soyuz, 56 feet in length, 13 and a half feet in diameter, has a single engine with four fuel chambers. And it provides between 178,000 and 220,000 pounds of thrust, depending on the altitude, for its three minutes and 28 seconds of operation. This is going to continue to burn until about four minutes, 43 seconds into the flight. And Soyuz is going to use what's called a hot stage technique. Copy all. Everything is nominal on board. We're feeling great. Copy. Reports everyone doing well on board. Everything continuing to go well. Again, that hot stage technique will actually see the third stage start to fire while the second stage is still connected. It has a lattice-like structure between the two stages, allowing the exhaust to escape. And that allows then the core stage to drop away with the third stage already powering the Soyuz into its initial orbit. Second. 
The launch vehicle control system parameters are nominal. We are standing by for a GECA 2. Second stage shutdown. And standing by for that third stage ignition. And confirmation, second stage has shut down and separated. The Soyuz now being powered by that third stage engine. Copy. GECA 2, uh, command, cutoff command went through, and everything is nominal on board. Copy all. Everything continuing to proceed smoothly. The core booster separating at an altitude of about 105 miles in height. It's about 170 kilometers. Now being propelled by the single engine of the third stage. It provides about 67,000 pounds of thrust and is going to burn for a little over four minutes. It will be the final phase of the rocket's journey into orbit. Third stage thrusters are operating nominally. Again, this is a view looking back towards the end, and that'll be cutting in and out. This is an animation of what's taking place right now. That third stage engine going to continue to fire and carry the vehicle into orbit. This is actually a view. You're seeing one of the folded up solar arrays. Uh, that, and along with a series of antennas, will deploy shortly after the Soyuz makes its initial orbit. We're still about two and a half minutes away from the shutdown and separation of the third stage. Everything continuing to go smoothly for this ride, taking off right on time at 8.57 a.m. Central Time. Everything looking good so far with the crew. Alex Kropochka, Jessica Mir, and Haza Ali Almansuri inside the spacecraft, well on their way to orbit. 400 seconds into the flight, the spacecraft is stable. Four hundred and fifty seconds into the flight, the flight is nominal. And we're approaching eight minutes since liftoff. At this point, the vehicle traveling at a velocity of over uh, almost thirteen thousand five hundred miles an hour. We're just under a minute away from third stage shutdown and separation. We'll see the engine on the third stage cut off and separate, delivering the Soyuz spacecraft into its initial orbit. 490 seconds. The spacecraft is stable. Copy all. Everything's nominal on board, and we are feeling great. Copy. 500 seconds. Everything is nominal. Look at three command. Got and getting a spectacular view there. You see the third stage separate and fly away. And Sarmat, congratulations. We are handing you over to Moscow. Sarmat, Moscow. Moscow. Moscow station, station, go ahead. Go ahead, Moscow. Go ahead, Moscow. How are you feeling? 
We are standing by for your report on the third stage separation. Everything was nominal and we are feeling great. And we are working from pages 35 through 39. Copy all. And uh, we are standing by for the first measurement for page 36. And just like that, three new crew members now in outer space, the third stage separating, and we did get a good report that all of the solar arrays and antennas have deployed. So a spacecraft in good health now in orbit around planet Earth. Russian cosmonaut Alex Kropochka, NASA astronaut Jessica Mir, and your United Arab Emirates astronaut Haza Ali Al-Mansuri now in outer space and beginning their chase down of the International Space Station. Copy all. It's closed. One and two flow sensors are closed. Copy all. That's wonderful. And oversight of the spacecraft now going to be transferring over to the Russian Mission Control Center just outside of Moscow. It'll be this team right there in the room. And again, we did get confirmation that both solar arrays and all of the rendezvous and docking antennas have deployed so a spacecraft in good health along with the crew now ready to make the six-hour journey towards the space station Sarmat, we can see the image. And we're standing by for the first measurement for page 36 from you. Moscow, this is Sarmat at the air, was nominal and on time, copy. FPVs are closed, copy. 